Hi, I'm Jared. I'm a recent addition to the show. I'm friends with everyone from the show as well. So what today I'm going to be teaching you all about is rainbow tables. So first off, we need to define what a rainbow table actually is. Wikipedia defines a rainbow table as a lookup table that has a simple plain text password. It has ciphers and keys in it, and it's generated by a one-way hash. So the point of the rainbow table is simply like a brute force attack. It just basically goes through all this sort of stuff. It basically just goes, it repeats a number of words to get the password out. However, unlike the brute force attack, rainbow tables are actually pretty fast. Uh, what we're going to use today to crack the rainbow table is OPH crack. And it's from a live CD of Ubuntu. And basically it takes 10 minutes to load because it is a live CD of Ubuntu. So we're going to basically wait for that to load. It's going to take about 10 minutes, so we'll be back in about 10 minutes. And we're back, and it's now loaded up. So it's basically loaded up all this stuff on there. And all we have to do is just move the mouse over, click it, and it's going to scan. It's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to scan. So if you're going to basically try to crack any of this stuff, say on your parents' computer or your brother's computer, it's going to take maybe about a half an hour at minimum to do this sort of stuff. So make sure they're not in the house. Uh, so it's basically now cracking that stuff. So we're going to come back in about another 10 to 15 minutes after it's cracked. We're back and it's now cracked all the passwords. So we now have all the passwords for uh, Mr. Tavik's uh, computer. And it turns out that his uh, password is tech. So the whole point of the rainbow table, like I said before, is just like a brute force attack. It's just going to go through these things and just attack it. Uh, however, there is one or two discrepancies about it. Uh, most versions of Unix, Linux, and BSD have salts in them, and they uh, they don't really crack as well. So don't really try them if it's Linux or Unix. Just leave it alone. It's not worth it. Uh, also, if you want to prevent having a rainbow table used against you, turn off the LM hash, because if you turn that off, it basically is like... Uh, adding web to your wireless. So that's all about the rainbow table today. I hope it helps you all out a lot. And, uh, see you next time.